so hello everyone welcome to one of the most interesting videos so in this video we are going to understand what exactly placebo blinding and unblinding mean in clinical trial and how do these terminologies have an impact when it comes to conduct of clinical trial before we move ahead make sure you like share and subscribe to this video so that it provides us additional motivation to bring you quality content without further ado let's start So in this particular session, we are going to look at three important things. First, we will understand what exactly is placebo when it comes to clinical trial. Secondly, we'll understand what is blinding in clinical trial followed by what is unblinding in clinical trial. So when it comes to placebo, we all have heard that they have used placebo in a particular clinical trial or sometimes placebo do have significant effect when it comes to health outcomes but what exactly that placebo means so placebo is a drug or treatment that is not active okay so it might sound contradictory so when it comes to placebo the researchers use this type of methods to learn if the new drug or treatment in comparison works better than the substance which does not have active ingredient which means that there will be two pills one pill would have the active ingredient the molecule the chemical formula the other pill would just have non-active substances they will just be a sort of sugar pill okay placebo is also called a sugar pill in general so they will give the same medication to the same subjects having same indication and they will compare they will have a comparative analysis that how placebo works in comparison to the active treatment does the patient psychology or any other factors have an effect on the disease outcome and placebo whenever it is used in comparison to a drug or treatment it needs to have no active ingredient so that it can thoroughly evaluate that whether a treatment is active and whether that treatment is having an effect when it comes to positive health outcomes now let us understand where exactly do we use placebo when it comes to disease and treatments so firstly placebo is used as a comparative analysis for new treatment where the researchers learn whether the new treatment is having its effect and whether it is better as compared to the control placebo next thing is placebo is always used when it comes to cancer studies where they understand whether the cancer tends to get better or worse and whether the signs or symptoms go away or whether the remission happens as compared to the control placebo next thing is the placebo is always used to know whether the treatment have a certain causal effects or side effects there also it plays a significant role as well as to understand the final outcome and efficacy of the treatment whether a treatment is effective or not so to summarize this particular placebo effect it means that whether a person is getting better because of your chemical formula or it is just because of other factor or his psychology because a lot of times subjects are given placebos where it does not have active ingredient but still they get cured so it can be due to their uh, psychology or it can be due to positive psychological outcome which helps them build that determination to evaluate whether the body can heal okay so placebo is nothing but an control which does not have any active ingredient and it is always used and it is a very effective method to use to understand and to have clear distinction between the treatment group as well as the control group so that's it that is placebo in clinical trials next thing is understanding blinding so all of you must have heard that it is a blinded clinical trial or we are performing blinding in this particular trial design so what exactly blinding is so blinding is a procedure in which one or more parties in a clinical trial are kept aware of the treatment arms okay that they have assigned to for example which treatment is given to which particular subject and how do you receive that treatment okay so when it comes to blinding so either one of the three parties or four parties in a clinical trial are unaware of the treatment what it is given to the subject for example you can have single blinding where a particular 
study participant or the investigator or the sponsor is unaware of the treatment being given. This particular method of blinding is important because it will help you to accurately record whether your treatment is in order to allow to interpret the result in an unbiased manner. Okay, that is where the blinding plays an important role. And if that blinding is ever broken during a clinical trial, then it needs to be justified or explained. Because whenever you design a particular trial, whenever you have blinded clinical trial, you cannot make everyone aware of the treatment allocation. You have to keep certain parties to be unaware of the treatment so that whenever it comes to result analysis, when it comes to interpretation of data that is done in a fair manner, which can have clear distinction between the data sets. So that is blinding. Now let us understand what exactly is unblinding. So obviously as the name suggests, blinding is when once you hide a particular treatment group or once you hide what you are giving to this uh, research participant. So whenever that needs to be unhide, so we call them unblinding. So unblinding is a process where the allocated code or treatment is broken so that the appropriate person, it can be investigator, clinical staff, participants, or even the trial statistician, they are aware of the intervention given to the study participant. But why exactly would you hide a particular treatment group from the stakeholders and why do you need to unblind? So whenever unblind is, is required, it is only the primary reason would be to make clinical treatment decision. For example, if a subject has participated in a clinical trial and if he has any serious adverse events or any adverse event which requires intervention, then it is very important for the treating physician or the doctor to know what exactly drug he was taking and how do we combat that particular complications. So in the emergency situation, you perform emergency unblinding where they tell, they tell the treating doctor or the physician that what particular drug this subject was given and based on that critical information, they can give him the right amount of treatment and ensure the subject safety. And please make sure that whenever unblinding is done, it is done only for one single subject, not the entire trial. So if there is any essay during the clinical trial, only one single party, one single subject would be unblinded and not the entire trial participants. Next thing is that whenever you have to do an unmask analysis where the data or the treatment given to the subject has to be taken in accordance in that study analysis plan or in the interim analysis whenever you do there you require unblinding next unblinding is required when you are analyzing the data safety monitoring board reports whenever you want to analyze the safety data there also you unblind to know whether the adverse events or the serious adverse event have any correlation to the study molecule and resulted outcome. There DSMB boards again you will have to unblind the data and finally at the conclusion of the study. So whenever there is final analysis you would require all the data sets to be unblinded so that the bias statistician can have clear distinction between the efficacy of the treatment and whether the intervention has made any positive health outcomes. So that is unblinding. So I hope that you would have understood what exactly is placebo, what is blinding in clinical trial and what is unblinding in clinical trial. Make sure that you understand these terms very well because I am going to come up with concepts related to that. In the next video we are going to look at single blinded, double blinded and triple blinded clinical trial. So for that fundamentals of blinding, unblinding and placebo is very important. I hope you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Thank you.